welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And we've got the start of a massive unboxing. So, uh, I've got all these goodies, which you can see in here. Um, and these are from fansells.com. F-A-N-S-E-S-S. S-E-L-L-S dot com. Um, I will put links to everything in the description below. But they did um, contact me and ask if I'd like to um, have a look at a few of their items. So I'm more than happy to have a look at items. Um, if I find a company doesn't work the way I'd like um, or... Um, you know their customer service isn't good or anything like that then I'll stop dealing with them um, but it's a new company it's a new website and I've got no objections with having a look so I'm going to unbox these over a series of videos and um, so we'll start we'll do a few in this video and then I'll put one up in a week or so and um, because I do want to be able to look at what the items are um, in in as much detail as I do for a single unboxing video um, but I'll pop dis links to anything below it's up to you whether you want to purchase or not but they did arrive super quick and um, I was very impressed with that so I've ordered a variety of different things and can't quite remember which is which so let's have a look at this first one so this first one, oh yes, I do remember this one. So this is um, a round diamond. Let me just make it go the other way. It is poured glue, so these creases do tend to either come out over time or if you're unsure, you can give them an iron. Um, I just pull back the clear coating and push it back. It can help a little bit. It doesn't do it the same way as um, it does on the opaque covers and it does look as though we've got something stuck under there it looks like it's a, a grouping of glue so I'm just gonna get rid of that because we don't we don't want that in here but this is a wolf so if my camera will focus on it let's see if I can tell it to there we go so we've got a very very pretty wolf um, I like that it's a nice manageable size you can fully see what it is for the size that it is it's 25 by 30 is the size on the top but let's have a look at what the actual size is so the actual size is just under 20 by just under 25 so there obviously is like five centimeters or so allowed for border but even so I do still think you can perfectly see what that image is so let's have a look at what we get with it it is round we do get a very very basic toolkit so the most basic toolkit I've sort of seen these is the green boat a plate of wax and a pen say so most basic toolkit but enough you need for what you need to do the job. So let's have a look at the colours. Because I like these colours. These are blues and greys with a hint of pink. Um, they don't have DMC codes, but we've got like a greeny grey colour. We've got some nice pink, a couple of dark greys. We've got a navy blue, we've got some tealy blues, a little bit of a khaki green, pale green, some more blues, looks like a few of those escaped from one to another. And looks like these have, a few of these have got mixed up actually, so I'll have to make sure I pay attention as to which blue it is I need to use for that one. Looks like there's a little bit of a fail in production on that. Um, but then we've got burgundies, greys and all the tealy type blues. So still very pretty. Of course, when I do a review, I'll let you know if there's any problems with the amounts that we get. But I like the look of that. I like the fact of these little 
pops of pops of pink in with it and it doesn't look like there's any 310 so that's always a nice bonus as well so that's number one let's move that out of the way have another little rummage so this is one that's a little bit different um, not a canvas as such but these are the stickers now the box has become a bit bashed in transport because it was just shipped in a jiffy bag and uh, sorry in just a clear bag but it has instructions on the back uh, what you should get so you should get the paper stickers the tools and package which is the diamonds and um, tells you how to put the wax into the pen pick up the diamond and put the diamond into the right place so let's have a look at how these work oh so you get two strips are they the same no they're different so these are the little princess stickers and to peel this back this top part is sticky but it is on what looks like a clear sticker let me see if i can get hold of it yeah it is in fact let's peel back the bit that's not where we put the diamonds there we go so it's on like an acrylic clear see-through sticker that's that's what you'd use to stick to of course once you're done so that's quite nice in the fact and the glue doesn't look to overhang either which is also nice um, I'll know more when I actually get to do it but they're a nice clear sticker see the outline there and then the glue coating on the top it's got five of the princesses there and then we've got some more they are a little bit pixelated but you expect that for that sort of size we've got your bog standard basic tool kit and then we have diamonds so let's have a look so again we don't have any DMC codes on these and the symbols are directly on the bags there's no key they just come directly on the bags so we've got number one is this red which I can see on here and on here and on here um, yeah, so we've got three places with the number one which is the red and then the letter K is the pink so that's how you do it number one K and we've got a purple is four what looks like a black is six doesn't look like there's too many of them either which is good seven is a white we've got a couple of yellows some blues oh a very very small amount of greens which is G I'm trying to see where it has G I think yeah so G is just on the mermaid I don't actually think it's on anything else so maybe that's why we've only got a small amount there's just a few of that darker green and then we've got some tan colours for the faces and a grey they're pretty I like them they're fun as a fun I find these sorts of things are great as a little in between some bigger projects or maybe if if you're not keen on big projects um, then they can be quite nice to do okay so final one for today um, is a box let me move my toolkit so I'm going to have loads of toolkits so this if I remember rightly yes so this comes as a full on kit <coughs> so that's the box empty so you get your diamond painting which in this case is a whale and if you can see here all the different symbols are different sizes and they are on here as well so it's a crystal one um, and it comes with different sizes of the same colour so you actually get a nice textured look with it that's a bit different so it's quite a simple image and therefore it stays looking like it's supposed to but the background will all be different sizes and what you also get 
is the frame for it as well. So it's a full complete, this is acrylic underneath, so you need to peel that coating off. But then you can frame your image straight away and off you go once you've done it, of course. So let's have a look at what comes in with the picture. Oh, looks like it might be a little bit different, this toolkit. Let's get rid of the clear stuff. So there's the fat. Let's have a look. I'm going to open up the frame and have a look at what the frame is like compared to the size of the picture. So we can have a full, full view of what you get in here. So it's an all right frame, to be fair. It's not a 20 quid frame, but it's not a 20 quid picture either. I did scratch the top of it, but that was with my scissors when I was trying to get in it. So we peel back the acrylic on the front of that. And that goes back in. And then just have a look at size wise. Okay, so the size of the frame is the size of the actual picture itself. So you do need to cut off the border to be able to see the picture. But if I hold it up the other way around, see it's perfect size. You're not going to end up, if I pull that down, you're not going to end up with anything around the edges where it doesn't, um, where it shows anything else. So it's going to fit the frame perfectly, which is good. So let me pop this back in. Ooh. And it's just a little clip frame, it just slides in. Okay, so that's the frame. Quite cute for children's bedrooms, these, I think. Um, Toolkit wise, we've still got the wax, the tray. The pen looks a little bit different. It's actually not got the metal tip. Now, whether that's because it's got different sized diamonds or not, I'll have to have a mess when I do this one and see if the pen um, is that way for a reason. So I'm not sure if you can even see that, but the pen tip of that is a lot different to your normal tip. So this is a normal pink pen. It's got a grippy on, but that's the tip difference between the two of them. And as I say, that may be due to the size of some of the diamonds on here. But let's have a look. So we get a lot of the same colour or similar colours. We don't have DMC numbers and the numbers or symbol letters are on the front. But we've got black and white, which is your outline and the, the belly of your whale and, and the little spout of water. But then we have three sizes of one blue rhinestone. And then we have three sizes of another blue rhinestone. So they're all the same colour, or those three are the same colour, and those three are the same colour, and they go on to make up your picture. So that darker one is your whale, and then the lighter one is down the outside. But I really like the effect of having a block of colour with three different sizes in it. So I was quite interested in how this one looks. It says it's 15 by 15. So let's have a look if in this case it's the exact size. And in this case it is. So 15 by 15 for this one is the exact size of the canvas. And it is bob on 15. So 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres. Cute little picture. Um, would look good in a child's room or maybe a baby's nursery. But there's a few different designs, a few different animals. But I like my teal blue. So I wanted to try this one. Um, so yeah, that's three of the goodies. Where have I just put the other two? 
<laughs> I've got them everywhere. So we've got a whale with a frame. We've got stickers for a little bit of difference. And then we've also got this really nice, I'm really looking forward to doing that wolf actually. That'll be a nice bite-sized project. In fact, all of them will. All of them will be nice bite size compared to some of the big ones that I've been doing. Um, but I'll pop links for all of these below. If you've got any questions, please just ask them below and I will do my best to get them answered for you. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.